Will I get to read the book that I actually want to read? I don't know. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Do I want to swap it out? So I haven't had much luck with these past two rounds. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today. <laughs> I'm gonna play a TBR game and you all know, especially if you have been following me for a little while here on my channel, that I am a mood reader. I have stopped filming TBR videos for like about a year ago, I feel like, because I am never sure of which books I want to read and my reading mood can completely change from reading one book to the other. So I am scared to do this, but it's something that I wanna try out to kind of challenge myself. And if I don't succeed, then I don't succeed. And if I do, better for me, I guess. So I asked you guys on Twitter and on Instagram, definitely give me a follow if you haven't already, because I am just like updating you guys on my life, on my reading, on a regular basis on my social media platform. So definitely give me a follow. Links are in the description box down below. But I asked you guys whose TBR game I should be playing. And because I came up with this video idea on quite a short notice and I didn't have too much time to prepare like a whole game or a whole wheel of TBR type of situation, I decided to go and pick Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin's Playing Your TBR Right video situation idea. <laughs> so I have my ooh, pack of cards here, which is from like a beautiful fairy loot edition, which I received a couple of years ago. And I'm hoping that I'm not gonna make any mistakes while playing this game, but Gavin, I'm sorry if I do, if I didn't understand the rules correctly, that I have kind of just created my own Playing Your TBR Right game, I guess. <laughs> So in Gavin's videos, he always picks two books, one that he wants to read super badly and one that he really does not. And then between those books, he places five cards and you kind of have to like get through them all in order to win the book that you want to read that month. You turn around the cards and you see what the number is and you're gonna guess if the next card is above or below that number. I'm really bad with card games and like which card is above the other, but I do know that Gavin has chosen with his game that the A's are for instance a one in the game and then you will just like work your way up until like a joker which can literally be any number and is kind of the best card that you want to have in this game because if you choose above or below you are correct either way but <laughs> I will be looking up like the other cards and how that works because obviously I do know how numbers work but then you have like the king and the queen and everything between that and I always forget how that works. <laughs> A big difference between Gavin's reading habits and my reading habits is that Gavin reads a lot of books each month. I believe like 10 plus, like definitely 10 plus. While I, on the other hand, usually read between four to six books. So how this is gonna work for me and like kind of the rules that I'm adapting because Gavin always has like one life, which I believe means that it's kind of like a pass on. Like if he does not win the book that he actually wanted to read, he can like hand in the life and read the book that he wanted. Am I explaining this correctly? I don't know. So I'm not gonna do that because I will only be playing this game for four books. So I'm not like granting myself that privilege of having a life in this game just because my TBR is like three or four times as small as Gavin's. But I do have one swap, which means that I can like change a card out for a different one and hope for the better so that I can make a better guess. Let's just play the game and see which books I will be reading in March. <laughs> So one book that I will definitely be reading in March and that I won't be like incorporating into this game is Hollow Pox, The Hunt of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the Nevermore series. At the moment, I'm currently co-hosting a read-along which is called Wonder Along for this series. And in February, we are reading Wondersmith and on March 6th, we have the live show for this one. I'm currently reading it and loving it. So I am pretty sure that I'm gonna be so excited to continue on with reading the series and also look at the naked hardcover it is so pretty and so shiny. Oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> Let's play the game, I guess. Where shall I put the book? Shall I put them here or here? I think <laughs> this is difficult. I think that the top shelf is going to be a little better to watch for you guys. I'm kind of scared and nervous. Why am I like this? Okay, let's start off with the first battle of the books. Playing your March TBR right situation. Uh 
I need to, <laughs> I can't grab them. First of all, I want to read one of my fairy loot books that I have received in the past couple of months. And I'm setting up these two books against one another, which is Star Daughter by Shvetsa Tekrar. This was, I believe, the August book and it is stunning, but I've heard less pretty things about the inside of this book. I've heard very mixed reviews and I believe the rating on Goodreads is quite low so initially I was super excited to pick this one up. It is one of the most beautiful books that I own. It is honestly so pretty but because I've heard less positive things about the inside I don't really want to pick this one up right now. So we are putting that one here on the left side of the shelf and then the book that I really want to read which I received in my latest fairy loot box is Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I believe at the beginning of March Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction is hosting the read-along for this book and I just want to like have that feeling of being part of like the fairy loot community participating in a read-along and I have heard great things about this one. From certain people I've heard that this is kind of like the Hunger Games meets Greek mythology and I'm all here for that action and for that fantasy aspect even though I'm usually not the big fan of Greek mythology. I am open to this one and very intrigued. Let's shake up the cards. I'm really bad at this. Like I literally <laughs> shake the cards like this. I need to have my boyfriend here because he has some like impressive card shuffling skills, which I don't. <laughs> okay, so the cards have been put on their pedestal and let's start off with this game. Card number one is a queen, which is pretty damn high. So I'm going to say that the next card is lower. And I think I was incorrect. <laughs> no, this is a king. What are the chances? I got a queen, then I set lower, and I got a king. No, oh my god. I desperately wanted to read lore, and I don't have a life. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I looked at all of the cards, and they were so high, so I would have never been able to get lore. I would be pretty sure about that, so I have to wait for another time. And I'm sad about it. So the book that I will be trying to read in March is Star Daughter by Shveta Takrar. And let's hope that I will enjoy it more than other people have. The good thing is, though, that the audiobook of this book is available on script. And I'm pretty sure that that will definitely help me get through this book if I won't be enjoying it that much. <laughs> Next up, I want to continue on with some series that have been on my TBR, and I'm super unsure of which one of these I really want to pick up, but I'm gonna put A Court of Mist and Fury on like the left side of the shelf, so the one that we kind of want to avoid, basically because the other book, the other option that I have is The Burning God by R.F. Kuang, and this is the third and final book in the trilogy, the only one that I still need to read, and then I will have finished a series. So I would rather have that accomplished feeling instead of like kind of opting out with a different series even though I would be very happy to give this one a reread. So many friends of mine have been hyping up this series again with the release of A Court of Silver Flames, right? Am I saying that correctly? I think I am. So let's put this one on the left because it's like not a priority. It would be fun but it's not a priority. And let's put the Burning God over here, shuffle the cards and let's hope that I will win this round. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> card number one is an eight. Well, how lovely is that? Right in the middle. I don't want to like, do I want to swap it out? I think we're going to swap this card for a different one because let's hope that then I will either have like one that's way lower or one that's like completely over the top. The card that I'm swapping it for is a two. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Unless we have an ace after this. Let's not hope. So I'm going to say higher because this one is a two. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. And the next card that we got is a 7, so I'm glad that I swapped it out because otherwise I would have probably said higher. But still, like, a 7 is really annoying to get because what should I do now? Let, let's go higher, I guess? Oh no! <laughs> it's a 6! Oh no, okay. Uh, mm. Which means that I will not be picking up The Burning God, but I will be rereading a Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. But like I said, I am excited to be reading this one and I think a lot of my friends like Jody from Vanilla Moon and Mel from Mel Reads will be happy that I'm going to pick this one up in March and continue on with reading the Akatar series. <laughs> So I haven't had much luck with these past two rounds. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. But also, I don't have any swaps anymore because I only granted myself one swap. 
so we shall see how it goes. Next up, I want to read a contemporary book, and the one that has been catching my attention a lot lately is Starfish by Akemi Don Bowman. I've had this book on my shelves for like three years, almost two and a half years, because Karis from Karis on Reading, I believe her channel name is Kara's Book Corner right now, but I'm not too sure. She gifted this to me when we met up again in London, and ever since that moment, I've heard amazing things about this book, and again, lots of my friends recently have been picking it up, or it either was on their, like, 2020 favorite books list. And I believe that this book deals a lot with, like, discovering who you are, and, um, a girl who wants to be an artist, I believe, so I have a feeling that I'm gonna love this book so much. So let's put it right here, and then the other book that I'm gonna, like, put it against is If I Am Being Honest by Emily Wibberley and Austin Sigmund Broca. I got this book from Brit, from basically Brit, last year, like I believe exactly a year ago when we did like a mystery book haul for each other. And Brit and I have been planning to make a reading vlog for our books that we chose for each other ever since September and it still hasn't happened yet. But the thing is, once I kind of like have to read a certain book, I kind of get opposed to it. And I don't know why, because it doesn't make any sense because this is a contemporary book that has like some feminist tones with it and I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it but I just have maybe also other contemporary novels that I'm just looking forward to reading more than this one but because it's been a year I feel like I should be reading it so we are putting that on the left side I also think with these TBR games you might sometimes pick up books that you would have never picked up otherwise and sometimes that might actually lead to some surprising outcomes so I'm hoping that that will happen with playing this TBR game okay all the cards are set in place let's start with card number one Ooh, okay, so we have the queen again. Please don't be a king right now. So I'm gonna say lower than a queen. What is this? What is this? I have a king again? <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? The chances of that happening are quite small, I think. This game is going rather quickly. I will be picking up if I am being honest. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> I can't even speak anymore because will I get to read the book that I actually want to read? I don't know. Okay, and then the fourth and last book that I will be reading in March will either be My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, or Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. And these are kind of like books that are a little bit outside of my genre comfort zone. I believe that this is a historical fiction and I rarely read those. So this is definitely more out of my comfort zone than Get a Life, Chloe Brown, because this is an adult romance. And I have just finished reading The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. But I don't know if romance is kind of like the genre that I would really enjoy. I'm gonna put My Lady Jane on the left side of the shelves just because I like reading contemporaries and I believe that you can like classify romances as contemporaries and I also have the audiobook for this one on script plus I feel like I will just be able to get through this one a little bit quicker than My Lady Jane. So My Lady Jane on the left and Get a Life Chloe Brown on the right. Also so many people again have been hyping up this book so I kind of want to get to it because of that as well. Like I want to hop on the bandwagon, you know what I mean? Okay, here we go, round four. The last one, hopefully a successful one. Starting off with card one, which is an ace. So this is basically a one and everything is higher. So I'm gonna say higher. And we have, ladies and gentlemen, a five. So it is on like the lower end of the middle spectrum. So I think I'm gonna say higher, but until so far that hasn't really worked out in my favor, but reverse psychology, I'm still gonna say higher. Please, please, please. What is this? I got a four. I got a four. Oh my god, reverse psychology doesn't work apparently. It needs to be like reverse, reverse psychology. I don't know, look at this. I literally got none of the books that I wanted to read <laughs> with this TBR game, Gavin. Are you setting me up for a failure with this one? <laughs> no, just kidding. So this would have been my ideal TBR. Whoa, a lot of like light bugs, but I have to like abandon them all. I'm not reading any of these books. <laughs> and then this, guys, is my March TBR. There are actually a lot of 
semi-thick books in here so let's hope that I will be able to finish all five of these in March. It's definitely a nice mixture of genres I feel like and also middle grade versus more adult and it's like everything in between so I am looking forward to that but it's just such a shame that I didn't get to read any of the books that I really wanted to. <laughs> so definitely keep your eye out for my March wrap up somewhere in the beginning of April to see whether I succeeded in completing this chosen TBR or not. Definitely go check out Gavin and his TBR videos. I love watching them so much. This was a lot of fun. I am a little bit sad and I have like a little stab in the heart right here, but let's hope that I'm gonna be okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.